In today's video, we're going to be talking about round fractions. When we round fractions, we're going to be rounding from 0, 1 half, or 1. In this example, we have 2 over 10. So we're going to round, it's either going to be 0, half, or 1. Okay? You can go ahead and graph it to start off. And I will go ahead right away and put what's the half of 10. So it will be 5 over 10. Okay, as you see, we're only going up to two, so you can continue, continue, or you can just stop at half. Then we're gonna go ahead and put, you have zero here, we'll probably put here, one over 10, two over 10, and three over 10, and then we have four over 10, okay? And we only have to stop at 2. So we only have to stop here. Okay? But when you have stopped there, what is it closest to? Are we closer to 0 or are we closer to half? I would say you're closer to 0. So we're going to round 2 tenths to 0. And don't forget, do not put an equal sign. The two ways uh, that's about. So we're rounding is closer to 0 to 1 half. Okay? Okay, I'm going to go over some of the stuff that you can go ahead and think about when you are graphing. Okay, so if we go ahead and give you an example of the 10 boxes, same way here. If we shade one box, right, if we shade one box, we're going to know if the numerator is much smaller than the denominator round the fraction to zero so we see here that one is closer to zero or if we shade two in this case here you see you have more boxes you have eight more boxes and you have three more boxes to go to get to half okay now if i was to say all right let's round to six tenths okay what is it going to be about? Okay, so here we're going to go and just shape six boxes four and five and six. We know right away that is half is five, so we know we just put one more box shaded, so we know right away we're going to be closer to half rather than one or zero okay now we ask okay how about nine tenths how about we rounding nine tenths okay same way we can go ahead and we already have six boxes shaded so we're just going to shade out three more six seven eight nine and we see that it's almost ten which ten over ten is one and we know right away okay we're going to round to one because it's closer to beating everything full up and then we continue going ahead we have five six so we have one here it's going to be 10 over 10 what's one number before 10 over 10 would be 9 over 10 so we know that 9 tenths is closer to one in this example we're gonna round the fraction 7 8 okay so we're gonna start by knowing what is half of 8 Half of 8 is going to be 4 over 8. So if I know right away that the half of 8, uh, eight is 4, then we know right away that we're going to start on 4th 8 because it's asking us for 7, 8. So there's no need for me to go ahead and write more on the number line. So I can go ahead and start from 4, 8. And then I know that 1 is going to be 8 out of 8 and I know right away then I only need 7 out of 8 so one number before that is 7 out of 8 I can go ahead and continue writing 5 or 8 and 6 over 8 there's no need for that once you put 7 8 but if you want to go ahead and continue and continue doing it on this side as well you can go ahead but I stop there because I know right away I'm looking for 7 8 and 7 8 is 
here. So I know 7 and 8 is closer to not half, but to 1. Because I know it's just one number to get to 1. And I need 1, 1, 2, 3 numbers to go ahead and get to half. So when I round this fraction 7, 8, I'm going to round it to 1. In this example, we're using 1 fifth. So we're going to go ahead, right away we know it's an odd number and we can't find what's half. So we're going to go ahead and divide 2 goes into 5 to figure out what's the half of 5. 2 goes into 5 2 times. So 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down to 0. So now we have 2 goes into 10 5 times. So we know right away our half here should be 2.5. That is our half there when we go ahead and do our problem. So we know right ahead, so here we go 1 over 5 and this would be 2 over 5 and then half which is 2.5. I don't need to go that far more because I know we're just going for one so we're looking at for this number here and I know right away that it is closer to zero than it is to one half so this will be about when you round you're gonna round to zero in this example we're doing three fourths so we're gonna go ahead and put what's gonna be the half of three fourths is gonna be two fourths and then we know that four fourths is going to be the one and then in the middle we're going to have three fourths and we are looking for three fourths so in this example you can round either way you can round back because it's only one space to half or one space to one I will go ahead and just round myself to one and don't forget if your friends are having problems on rounding fractions make sure you share the video and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe 